Hey guys, it's Bill and, and Bob, and, it is Bob. and this is part two of our last video. If you watched our last video, uh, we showed you how to set up the Xbox One Connect uh, with live and streaming uh, mixed reality. Yep. Today we're going to focus on tips and tricks. Tips and tricks, which is going to include how to make your play area seem a little bit bigger than what it is, gotcha. um, and how to fix latencies in both the audio and the video and make sure everything is in sync. Yeah. And we're going to be using Beat Saver for that. Yes. Um, because Beat Saver makes it really easy to get your uh, get everything configured correctly. So with that, we are going to get started and we will be right back. All right, we're back. The next thing we're going to show you is two things. So we're going to show you latency. Right. We're going to show you some tricks on uh, the OBS Streamlabs edition. And we're going to show you uh, some other tricks that we learned to make the stream a lot better and, and give you more options. Yeah, as now, far as your again, this is for broadcast. This is for people that are actually going to be streaming out, um, creating content and streaming it out. So. Right. Oh, we're recording. Yeah, we're recording. We're recording. It, it, it makes, then, it makes for good content either way. So. Um, the first thing you're going to need is something called OpenVR, and this is a plugin for OBS. There's a certain directory you have to put it in. If you're put using Streamlabs, there's a directory you have to put in there. If you're using the, the, the normal version of OBS, there's a directory where you have to extract this in. It's actually in the re README when you download this. We'll put this to the uh, link in the description at the bottom, and we'll also put which directories you need to put uh, extract these files into. So once you have that loaded, Go back into Lib, the client, and you want to go back to the camera, click on Edit, and then click on Calibration, and make a note of these, this milliseconds here. This was the milliseconds uh, that it assigned, depending on the latency that you set up while you were calibrating Correct. Your, um, your, your controllers on the software. So... Uh, make a note of that. In our last video, we got you to the point where you set up your game in mixed reality and everything was loaded. You were able to see yourself. So the first tip we're going to talk about today is how to make your play area um, look bigger. So reduce your um, body size in the game and then make the play area look bigger. This is This is so that if you have a small play space, you can actually make it appear like you have a bigger play space. And that's what we're going to we're going to do now. And when you're streaming, this will give you more area on the left and right to put things um, for your streamers to see. Exactly. So, and we're going to go over that as so it's like if you have a chat trip. window, if you have a video cam, and so on and so forth. So, on the screen, you see what is the actual game. Um, we're not worried about quality lighting or no. anything at this point. This is just strictly uh, showing you how to change these features. In the live, Go back into your live software, which should already be open from the last game. Click on camera, click on edit, and then click on calibration. And at this point, uh, visualize in your mind how big you want your play area to be. And then just take the zoom. Okay, so I'm going to stand up here. So Bob's going to go in the middle of the play area, and I'm going to zoom this out. And you can notice that I can zoom it way out, and I can zoom it way back in. Now, the, the issue with this is when you're zooming, you're actually putting a square around I'm where walk around, dude, um, so that you, can see. you don't limit your play area you sure. just there's now just a box so you don't you can't get as far away as you would like right, so I can't hit the you can't hit the edges of the play screen uh, as if it, when I zoomed in here Bob could actually walk pretty close to the edge of his play screen so what we're going to do is we're going to drag this out to approximately I don't know we'll do 20 percent just for the uh, sake of this demo. And then we're gonna hit save. Now, if Bob picks up his controllers, which should already be configured, you'll notice they're no longer configured. They are not. So what you have to do at this point is now take time out and then recalibrate your your Vive controllers to um, the integrated Viver that's now built into Live. Go to our last video. So yeah, so go to the last video to see how to do that. We're gonna stop this video. We're gonna recalibrate so you don't have to sit through that. And then we will be right back. Phew. All right, guys, so we just recalibrated, which actually put Bill a little bit forward in the game than where he was just at. He's a little bit smaller, but now we're going to compensate the the size of the play area to meet um, where he is in the game. Now, I, one side note is that we still have the green, or I'm sorry, the blue tape on the controller. So if you 
are calibrating, we highly recommend putting the blue tape like you've seen in the last tutorial. It makes things a whole lot easier during the calibration process. So everything just flew. So here's what we're gonna do. There's two tips we're gonna cover. So how to make your play space look bigger. Now, if you'll notice, Bill is off of his play space. Because we recalibrated, he's now a little bit forward, but he looks smaller. Our room size hasn't changed, so we're gonna compensate for that. So Bill's gonna go into the settings from the main menu. And on the left-hand side, you're gonna have room adjustments. Now, I know it's, it's reversed on your screen, but what Bill's gonna do is he's gonna offset the Z axis, I believe it is. And they could see this in a small yeah, you, yeah, you could Yeah, they could see it. So what you're gonna do is you're going to move the Z axis and move it forward. No, the, yeah, the Z moves it forward. Right, so you're gonna keep moving it, keep moving it, keep moving it, a little bit more. All right, and that's put you there, so now, yeah. So now, okay. So you could probably move it um, forward just a little bit more. A little bit more? Yeah. Okay, so keep it right there. Now, for two people doing this, you're going to go, okay, well, that's good. You know, if somebody was navigating and so on, um, then this would make it a lot, you know, easier. But here's another tip that a lot of people don't talk about. In the live client, and you're seeing that on, I'm going to bring that over to, um, let me go to the PC view here. All right, so here's the live client right here. In the live client under viewfinder, if you enable the viewfinder, and in this case here, we're, we're using the tracker five, that's what we select. Once you do this, if you enable the viewfinder, I'm gonna ask Bill to reset his game area. So Bill, can you reset I'm your game area? Okay, and now I'm not going to assist him. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to the, um, the game view, okay. So, and he, and I want you to watch the bottom right hand corner of your screen. So Bill should see a window pop up in his screen. And that's the actually a viewfinder. That's what is being displayed um, in the, in the live, the, the compositor view. So what he can do now is he can start moving that uh, room adjustment around and look up at the right hand side and get the view the way he wants it without any assistance. So with the Live Viver integration and with the viewfinder enabled, literally one person has a much easier time setting up their gameplay area because everything is visible through the HMD. So you'll see the bills easily adjusting things. You have to look now, you can rotate your room um, so that that window is um, always in the top right hand corner of your screen that, that but we try to keep it so it's away from the view of the play area um, so that everybody can't see it while the game is being played but it is visible to us now we increase the size also I believe this was one dot 25 um, so underneath when you start to, to do the device I'm going to switch off of you for a second dude okay. um, back over here these size adjustments and so on, you can change the opacity. So you may want to play with the size. Right now we increased it for this demo so that you can actually see what's going on, but typically we would not have because the nice part about it is if you're looking at it, the screen will get bigger and and it will um, get smaller when you look away from it. So that way it kind of tucks itself away from your, your play area. I'm going to go back to the game view here. Okay, sure. All right, so why don't you fire up a game? Is it, is it rotated? Do you think it's rotated enough? Um, I think for this demo, it's rotated enough. I don't okay. see the game. I don't see the compositor view. Okay. So you'll notice now that he is way further back. Now, we would never play this like this, but um, this is just for demonstrating how you can manipulate between recalibrating and changing the view, how you can make your play area look much larger than what it is, and also um, to be able to do everything through the HMD I'm with one person. Purposely missing some so they go behind. Purposely missing some yeah. so they go behind. That's okay. what he said. Okay, so uh, we're going to move on to the next step um, or the next one, which is what? Uh, the next step is going to oh, be Oh, latency. latency. Let's talk about latency. So we're going to switch back over. I'm going to get Bill out of the headset and we're going to talk about latency. Okay, you can stop playing with the laser. Stop playing with the laser. All right, so we're back. Um, Not the most professional setup, but this was the only way that we could try to record Stream yeah. Labs OBS. So yeah, because we're using two Stream Lab or two OBS sessions already, we couldn't record our screen 
and show you how to do this at the same time. So we're literally facing the camera at the PC screen. Hopefully everything uh, will turn out okay. So what you're looking at here is, is Streamlabs OBS. Um, and when we last left, we wrote down this number right here, which in our case is 212. Now this is gonna be different for you when you do your calibration. Right. But for us, it's 212. So in the Streamlabs OBS, you, um, you, you can, create different uh, sources. This source right here, we're not gonna recreate every source, but this source right here is the game capture source. And if we go to the properties of this source, this is the live client output. So this is what live is providing as the mixed reality view. So you probably wanna put this as the main view that people see. Now, because you gave yourselves uh, we moved the field of view back. Way back. We now have room on the left and right to add different things. So on this view right here, this is that plugin that we told you to install. And if we go to the properties of this this view, this is the OBS capture. If you right click on OBS and right click, you should see a new capture setting called OBS capture. If we right click on this and go to properties, um, right now it's capturing the right eye and if you select down you could select that you want to do uh, 16 by 9 and I'm going to move around so that you can see so I'm going to I'm going to say done here and now you can see that inside this bottom right hand window is what the player sees inside the headset and that includes that window that we overlaid inside of the live client is it also in that view now, the cool thing about the Kinex 360 is what you're seeing here is our actual webcam. But what you can do is if I right click on this and go to properties. This is fascinating. By th the way. This is very fascinating. I can change this to the Kinex. If you installed the drivers that we recommended in our last video right here you're going to see that you have the ability to do this. Change it to Connects to video sensor and boom. Ooh. Now check this out. You actually have a view of the actual webcam inside the Connects as well as the Connects view right here. And it doesn't really show up that well on the phone, but it is a it's very clear of a picture. It is very, very clear. It's amazing, amazing quality. So let's talk about latency. So this game right here is um, is got some latency. It is what we wrote down is 212. That's the latency we currently have on here. If we were to record this, this video right here, um, let's say you had your webcam. We're going to switch this back to a webcam. Oh, it's the 910. Okay, so this video right here, if you notice when I'm talking, yeah, I was gonna say, we kind of moved it. it it's not going to be in sync. And if, if Bob were to play it, um, this this headset view and this view would actually be, and he's not, I'm but not it would actually be it. out of sync. And in addition to that, because we are using a microphone, a Yeti mic, um, our audio is going to be out of sync with the game. While Bob is in the game, you're going to see that if he... Um, if he scrolls up and down the menu, you're, it's going to not match this. You're going to see that this win window doesn't match this window. It's a bit off. If I go to the OBS capture and create a filter, just right click, create a filter, click on this plus right here, you can come down and you can say render delay. When I hit done, it's going to add a filter in here for render delay. Now at this point, you can type in the milliseconds, and I would suggest starting with the milliseconds that showed up on your uh, your calibration screen, which in our case was 212, hit done, and see if it lines up. And I gotta tell you, that's almost right on. You can mess with this. You can, you can tinker with it, but kind of scroll up and down the window and make sure that if you don't have a second person, just record yourself. Uh, but normally that latency that you see on that window is pretty close to the latency you need to, to use. Okay, so Bob, you can stop with that. 
So what you want to do is you want to add that same latency to every other device that you have uh, connected to your OBS. That would be any of the webcams, that, like the webcam you see on the bottom left, the microphone, we have a Yeti microphone that it's attached. Anything that you have attached uh, or going to be added, you have to add a delay to match the game latency. So when you're streaming live, you, you have that delay that matches up right, right there. They're all synced. Yeah, they're all synced. So I'm going to click on my webcam here. I'm going to go to filters and do the exact same thing. I'm going to add a render delay, say done, and I'm going to add 212, done. And now our voices, even though they're not in sync with us now, this is all for streaming purposes, they will be in sync when you record and when you stream. So for the microphones that you have attached, you want to click on this little uh, cog, cog right window right here, and that'll bring up the audio devices. And here, now this is Streamlabs OBS. Here is where you can add the delay to any microphones that you have. Like for instance, we have our webcam mic, which we currently have turned off. But if you enable that, you want to add it to that. Um, and any other microphone, this would be our um, Yeti, Yeti microphone. Want. So we're going to add a delay there. Uh, anything that you want to add, don't change the desktop audio microphone because that's actually uh, that's right. actually coming through the game. So you don't right. want to change desktop that. Desktop audio should be left on. Yeah, be, or you're going to get a delay uh, on your desktop audio. And then it's going to unsync everything else. So anything that you have, here's our webcam. We're going to add it to that. That's the webcam audio. And then just close this out. And now all of your audio and video inside OBS should be now Sweet as pie. sync and ready to go. All right, and just another quick note. Um, if you are streaming locally, you want to um, try to do the following settings. And this was recommended for, to us and works out pretty good. If you're doing 1080, uh, 60 frames per second, set it at 12,000. If you're doing 1080, 30 frames per second, set it at 8,000. If you're streaming- This is your bit rate. This is the bit rate. Right. If you are streaming to a service, then obviously check your upload speed from your service provider and then set it accordingly to that. Right. Um, so those bit rates were if you were streaming to like Twitch or YouTube. No, the bit rates were local. So yeah, if those you're bit saving rates I just your wrote video were local. locally. Yeah. Okay. Streaming. Then streaming. Check your check local your provider like, yeah, and then set provider. it accordingly. Um, I could tell you 4,000, you know, blah, blah, blah kind of works. It, it depends on your, your upload speed. I, I mean, I've upped it like an amazing amount to do local recording. So yeah. just tinker with that. So you, you think about the view you just got out of the Kinect, right? On the screen, you had the game view, which was the virtual green screen composite output. Right. You had the, the OVR view, which is the plugin you installed, which was the inside the helmet view. Either left or right. You had the webcam that was inside the connect on your screen. So really, there was no other resources you needed. You didn't need an external webcam. Um, there's the mic is built into the and there, is a, and there is a mic built into the connect. By yeah, the way, there is a mic, so you can use the mic in that, or you can use the mic that's in your vibe. All of these are saving you resources. Right. So I think it's a great thing. I mean, if you add those little features and set your room scale so it matches. Those. And, and a side note, when we switched over to that, we were using our phone to try to capture it. But I got to tell you, if we were to record what we actually see in the connect camera. Pfft, yeah, you would be. You, As a matter of fact, I wish we thought about switching this one over to that. Yeah. But um, but it's amazing. You're going to be impressed with the the webcam that's in the Connect. And and a quick channel note. Yeah, quick quick channel note. So thank would, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. If I could say thank you ten thousand times, I would. Um, our counter has just bum, went bum, back up. Bum. And um, this is real time. That's a real. Our, we built this. It's the real time counter, and it's about to hit ten thousand. Yes. So we can't. Meaning ten thousand views. Ten thousand views. Not ten thousand subscribers. We wished, but almost two hundred subscribers, which we're grateful for. Right. Absolutely. For a new channel, we're blown away. So we want to thank every single one of you for subscribing, joining, watching, commenting. We do. We do. We do. Doing everything you do on the streaming sites and the, and the social media sites. Appreciate we just it. love all the input. Um, this should probably reach 10,000 by the time we're done wrapping up. Yeah. Um, so we can't thank you enough. And uh, with that, we're going to leave you uh, up here in the left hand corner. Here is going to be the last video we did with the connects part one. part one. And then over here, you can find setting up live with the 360. So um, thank you for joining. Until the next time, this is Bill. Bob. This is Bob. We are out of here.